Here on this part, we basically have a four-axis punch feature. If I were to run AFR, Camworks will not recognize this feature since it's four axes. So to do this, we'll need to define it manually. Now when we ran AFR in a previous lesson, Camworks did find features. It also created a part setup representing the Z-axis machining direction. So in order to begin defining the punch feature manually, we'll need first to create a part setup. To do this, I'll right-click on the Stock Manager and select Insert Part Setup. When I do, Camworks is looking for an entity as a reference for the Z-axis machining direction. I can use reference planes or a face of the model. I'll use the top face of the part, and you can see the red arrow is facing toward the part's top face. When I click OK, I'll see our reference triad on the top face of the part, and our part setup has been added in the tree. Now that our part setup has been added, we can manually insert a four-axis feature. To do this, I'll right-click on the part setup and select Insert a four-axis feature. The first thing I need to do in the dialog box is tell Camworks if this will be a die, punch, or open profile feature. So, I'll click on the punch icon. To define the rest of the feature, I can do this a couple of different ways. The way I'll show you is by using sketches. Here I have two sketches that make up the top and bottom profiles of the part. Watch as I select the first sketch. It'll be entered into the Active Selection window for Curve 1. I can tell the Curve 1 window is active by the salmon color. When I click it, the sketch is entered into the window, and now Curve 2 becomes active, and I can go ahead and select the other sketch. As I do so, watch the preview in the graphics area. The profiles are connected by these green sync curves. In EDM, we want these curves to connect the specific regions of one profile to another. They're called sync curves because the wire will eventually sync up with these curves. That said, it's very important that we get these cleaned up. This can be somewhat of a tedious process, so fortunately, Camworks has added a function that will do this for you automatically. To do this, let's use a different approach for defining the profiles. Rather than using sketches, this time, I'll use Model Geometry. In the Curve 1 selection window, I'll select one of the top edges of the model. When I do, it actually selects the entire loop that forms the top surface for the part. For Curve 2, I'll select one of the bottom edges. When I do, I see the green sync curves as we had before. But this time, I had the option available to automatically sync the curves. As soon as I click it, the curves are automatically added to the selection window and all the connectors are aligned properly. At this point, I can click Insert and the feature will be added to the tree. And I'll press Close one more time to exit the dialog box.